Okay, box fan collectors. I went to D to Deseret Industries, which is the main the main thrift store here in our area. And when I was there, I found this Lakewood K223. And uh, I don't know what year this is from or what generation this is, because like there's like three different generations of this or three versions of it. I'm not quite that experienced as to know which version is which. All I know is just a K223. So that's pretty good though. That's a very popular Lakewood fan by collectors. Now this isn't the true Lakewood. This is um, a Kmart rebrand. Uh, it's sold by Kmart, if you can look right there. And three speeds. It's a medium speeder. And uh, first I'll read to you the information that I found on it here. Um, let's see. Now you probably can't read that, so I'll read it for you. It says UL listed 196M and underneath of the UL logos are just a little lone S. And that's all there is. And then it says model number K223 one AC 115 volts 60 hertz 2.7 amps. Manufactured by Lakewood Engineering and Manufacturing Company, Chicago, Illinois, 60612. And now we'll turn it around and there's more info on the motor here. And again, I don't know if this is a McMillian motor or if it's a different type of motor. Uh, the later generations used McMillian motors. The earlier generations went with something different though. And so, on the motor it says, Lakewood Engineering and Manufacturing Company, model a 6088 2000, 115 volt, 60 hertz, 2.4 amps. Whoa, okay. So note the difference on this tag and the other one. It says thermally protected E62862 for the thermal protection thing. It says files E62788, E62815 EPC. And I don't know what all that means. And it says on the bottom line CDM white, high, black, medium, blue, low red so I guess these are the wires and and I can see the little wires right there uh, if I can get it in position for you there now you see them red blue and white and then the black ones hidden and then going up and down it's like horizontal it's got a number two zero five thousand so and I couldn't find a date on this fan so I don't know how old it is but now we'll turn it around and now we'll turn it on and we'll start off with low And this is medium. Oh, that feels good. Wow, that's pretty good. Man, that's good airflow from way back here. Now we'll bring you the, the air movement here. And now we'll turn it off and we'll show you the spin down time. Okay, so when I reviewed the the video that I took before, I realized that the macro was set to close up which I had said it when I was reading the info but I forgot to change it back so it kinda looks looked a little bit blurry but now I've got it back where it should be now and I'll just do it again real quick so that you can see it clearer and I'll just do low and high this time And now the spin down time.
Thanks for watching. More videos to come.